Yeah, like always in this league, a tough one. Um, uh, they are a good team. Um, they play a little bit different this year, uh, more possession, Spanish coach. Uh, they also signed a, a few new players, they're doing pretty well. Um, so it's going to be an interesting game for us. We, we know that we can beat them. We won the last game against them and we hope we can do the same thing in the next one here. Questions? Are you kind of in must-win territory now from now to the end of the season? I think every game is more or less like that, that you need the three points. And then we have the Challenge Cup, and that's knockout games now. So the focus has to be to win every single game. Is it necessary to, to do it in the end, like to have a like full pot with points? Probably not. But the how we are thinking about the game, how we're talking about the game, is to try to win every single game. Hassan had a number of important players go out injured in their last match. Does that make it hard to plan now that they have all these question marks at the roster, or do you just focus on what you need to do with your team? No, but I think we have a, a clear idea or uh, what they want to do and who is going to be there. Mm -hmm. I think their depth is, is decent, I will say. So you can see like when, like when players like Purse went out, they bring in Ryan. There's a really good player, in my opinion. They're going to probably have Liam Williams back. Uh, I think Serponi Sir went out, but then they have probably have uh, Long in the middle. So I think they still have a good team that they're going to uh, be there. Yeah. Does that bring us the must-win mentality? more pressure for you guys down the back stretch of this season? Uh, of course, it's, it's more pressure, um, but that's also how it is in, in this game. That uh, And that's the a big difference between players that uh, taking the final step, uh, playing in the big games and things like that, that they can do good performances under pressure as well. So that that's a part of the game. A number of the World Cup players have been back for a while, but now they've been back long enough that they're probably much does that give you a lot more flexibility with how you approach a team? Do you just feel like, oh, I, find I had the team back, but we actually want to have more? Yeah, I mean, the most of them are back, and I, I understand your question. I think, like, um, the, I think like DeMello and, and uh, Ari, for example, that started the last game, they, and Wang as well, they, they did okay, but we know their potential is even higher, and I think they're going to be even better in the next game, yeah. You mentioned Savannah. Contract extension. How important was that for you guys to secure her even longer than you already have? Yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot. We we know that uh, she's already one of the best tens in the league, in my opinion, and I think the potential is is even higher. And I mean, she can be one of the best tens in the world. So, and also with the midfielder we have with with Howell and uh, Ari, we have probably one of the most talented center midfields in the world. I would say so. They are re already really good together, so imagine how good it will be in the next year and the year after that. Anything else for Kim? Uh, Health-wise, I saw Jalen wasn't participating in drills. Is, is she good for this weekend? Or? Yeah, we will see. We'll test her tomorrow. Uh, so we will see. It's going to be a little bit 50-50 with her. So, and yeah. Carson, did any health update with her? She left uh, No, she will be out. Carson will be out, yeah. Uh, to start with this game, and then we'll see. Yeah. Gotcha. Anything else? All right. Thanks. Thanks.